Hello everybody, Hebro77 here, and I just wanted to do not a quick video, but a reaction video to JP Reacts. And of course, this is an official shout out to the JP Reacts video. I know that he wants this video to be shared. He wants to know our thoughts and our reactions. So instead of you know, leaving a long, wordy comment down in his comment section. Here I am. So I pretty much had the same concerns that he has about Kamala Harris um, becoming president through way of them eliminating Joe Biden, so to speak. And then she becomes president, and also she's running for president. Now, I've had a few mixed thoughts about this. I thought that if I posted a video and then this all turned out to be just some kind of huge conspiracy theory, then I would be looked upon as some huge conspiracy. But I do Mandela Effect videos for the most part, so that in itself is a contradiction. So... Anyway, uh, hey, by the way, if you're new here, please uh, feel free to check out some of my other videos. If you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, we're going to get right into it. Uh, the scenario where Kamala Harris becomes president through way of Joe Biden um, either being unfit to no longer be, be president, which he hasn't been since he's been president, but they're just now kind of getting around to uh, officially telling us, you know, uh, after that disastrous debate that he is, he was unfit to, um, he's unfit to run for re-election, but somehow fit to still be president, but yet he's been on vacation for the better part of a month, month and a half maybe since doing that debate. Uh, he's been pretty much hidden from the general public. But with no further ado, um, here is the JP Reacts video. Let's take a, let's take a look at that. Now, of course, we're going to look at a few points that he has to say, which are really good points. And then I'm going to interrupt in between so that YouTube, not him, I don't think he would um, copyright strike this video. But I want this to be fair use for YouTube, you know, just in case. So I will be pausing in between points. But here we go. Here is JP Reacts. Um, and all credit, of course, goes to JP. None of this is my content. Of course, me talking to you right now, this is totally all my content. <laughs> but the, the part where JP's talking, that's totally his content. Um, just to get that straight. So here we go. going to take Biden now, install her as a president before the election to help get her elected. And I wish this wasn't my prediction. Welcome back to the JP React Channel, my beautiful, freedom-loving friend. This is where we like to call it the lies, hypocrisy, and corruption of tyrants and Satan. Shed the light of awareness on woke absurdities and highlight the amazing work of other freedom fighters because truth conquers. And make no mistake, I hope yes, what I'm does. saying in this video is absolutely not true. I hope it does not come true. Yet, unfortunately, it is my prediction. So I will outline it's... with you why I think they will install Kamala as president and why I think that will help her get elected. And I'll also share why I think nobody else is talking about this prediction that seems so obvious to me. But first, here's why I think it's the demonic Democrats' next move, where before they have the election, they take Biden out as president. In, in which I think they pretty much already have taken him out. It's just a matter of taking him out officially taking them out, whether that be the 25th Amendment or through his untimely demise, 
per se, which we've seen the videos of him being taller and being more angelic, you know, being able to make those stairs. Uh, allegedly, allegedly, I'm not saying completely, but let's watch some more of uh, JP now. Search Kamala as president, then there's the election, and why does that help her potentially win the election, or at least make the election look more believable that she won, if you catch my drift? Why they would need to do that? The media propaganda honeymoon phase of Kamala's running, she's love, we all love her, right? Mm -hmm. That is over. It's oh, been yeah. over a month now since she's been nominated through process that did not involve any sort of nomination. The media did. And we know that back in 2020, the election was completely fair. You know, <laughs> of course. A nuclear blitz on America. Just all the Kamala propaganda. Here's why she's so great. She's amazing, isn't she? While scrubbing from the internet as much as they could all the past stuff about her. How the same media would say over the past three years, she is the least likable VP in history. And those same media outlets are coming at you. She is great. She's beloved. She's the one to take down Donald Trump. So that honeymoon phase is over. And the demonic Democrats, they might. And here's, here's kind of my take on it. And I agree with most of what he's saying, except some of the stuff. Here's the thing. If they do this, and I thought about this uh, a couple months ago after they forcefully removed Biden and put her in his place, I thought about this like, what if something was to happen to him and then she became president before the election and then you have an election where people are like, well, she's she's already president. I mean, most people have already come out and said, because most voters, liberals, liberal voters are pretty dumb, right? So they're 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 voting with emotions. They're voting with just their, their emotions. They're not voting because they know the policies. They're not voting because um, this person's going to run the country better than this other person. In fact, they don't know anything other than what they might get from mainstream media or uh, CNN, as it were. Um, they just want a female president. A lot of them have said, like they've been asked the question, why are you voting for Kamala? Oh, because, you know, we need a woman president. So if you've already got a scenario where there's a woman president, where she's already president, I don't know if that helps her or hinders her. Like, does that then people go, well, um, why vote for her? Except if you if they do come to that decision, they do think, well, we want her to stay president. So maybe she'll get more votes. But here's the thing, and I'll talk about it after he makes his point. But I do have uh, another counterpoint. But let's go ahead and hear some more of what he's saying. Be evil, but they're not stupid. They can see, damn it, the American people, or at least enough of them, didn't fall for that. She can't win this election. We see that now. So we need to do something. What's the ace up our sleeve? Here it is. The power of incumbency and instability. Mm -hmm. I think they want to use both to their advantage. Yeah. So picture this. I would predict within a month and a half of the election, they'll do this move. Here's why. There's two reasons. Incumbency and instability. The incumbency would be traditionally through a presidential elections. The incumbent always has the power of incumbency. There's always an advantage to that. You saw, you know, Bill Clinton gets elected in two consecutive terms. You see Obama gets elected in two consecutive terms. You see Trump wins the election in two consecutive terms. 
only awarded the election win in one of them, by the way. Right. The vast majority of the time, the I incumbent wins. Uh, you have to go back to George Bush Sr. to Senior. find an, an incumbent who did not win. So there is the top. And then, of course, you have George W. Bush, who you know, well, at least I know in my heart <laughs> and in my brain, which I have a fully functional thinking brain, unlike most of America, who voted for him twice. Like you would think after the first term, okay, the first term could kind of see, but I mean, he was possibly one of the dumbest presidents we've ever had, you know, and that's, you know, I'm not going to get into too much of what my politics might have been in the past, but in the past, the Democratic Party wasn't what they are now. The Democratic Party, it's like it reversed itself. It's like, the Democrats have become what the Republicans were back then. It's like the liberals have switched and the conservatives are now the liberals, what the liberals were during the conservatives, but now they're so far liberal that they're not, I don't, I don't, I don't even consider them liberal anymore. Right. But yeah, I would like to have seen him, say something about George W. Bush and how incompetent he was and how stupid he was and how that election, just like the 2020 election, was very questionable. Power in that. Like, cool, she's in office, she's the incumbent. Some people are influenced by that. It is a strategic Some. advantage as we're looking at this. Most. I'm for none of this. But trying to think like the demonic Democrats, that would be a very sensible move. And in a second, I'll share how they would remove Biden. But first, take a look at this. If you're like me, you probably know mm. your health is... So we'll skip the ad, but here's the thing. Um, And I'm going to skip through actually a lot of this because it's 14 minutes and such, and I think we've already spent a good while talking about this um one thing i want to add before i throw it back to jp is that here's here's my train of thought like let's say they do this they put her in there as president and the people who are voting for her are maybe the ones that were on the fence or the ones who are saying yeah, Kamala for change and all that. And then you've got people saying, well, wait a minute. She is vice president of the United States right now. Why doesn't she do some of the things that she's promising when she becomes president? Why wait till you become president to do these things? And then in his scenario that he's talking about, well, okay, she becomes president before the election. And then it's like, well, now the argument would be, why isn't she doing these things right now? She's president. She's president of the United States of America right now. So it's not like, oh, when I become president. Well, you're the president right now. See, that would be another argument that I would have against this, like why they wouldn't put her in that position um, why they might keep Biden in office or keep him alive or use a <clears throat> double, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, I just, winter's turning cold and getting a little something in my throat. But anyway, that's sort of like my line of thinking. Like, she's vice president right now, and the argument is, why isn't she doing some of this stuff right now? And then you've got some people on the left going, well, yeah, but she's just vice president. They don't have that much power, which they do, of course. But to them, the non-thinking uh, liberals, of course, they think, well, it's a vice president, you know. But if she is president, 
then you no longer have that argument. You say, well, why isn't she doing this stuff right now? Why would you want her in there for four years? So that's that's my line of thinking. I don't know if JP would agree or disagree with that. I hope that he watches this video. It's my hope. I'm going to tag him in it, and uh, hopefully he does. But for those of you who do not watch JP, I highly encourage you to go and do so. Go and check this video out for yourself and leave a comment. Uh, make your own reaction video as I have. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna watch just a little bit more of this. I think maybe like the wind down of of what he's saying. Like, let's get it towards almost towards the end here. Let's see. Um, man, nearly 15 minutes. There, there's a lot to talk about here. There really is. Uh, so far, I think I've done about maybe 14 minutes or 15 minutes. But we'll get down to the wind down. Here we go. To express our own critical thinking to help better and wake up the world around us. And we need to keep allowing truth to conquer anything that is not exquisitely aligned with truth. This prediction is what has me worried the most. Before the election happens, will they take Biden out of office, insert Kamala as president so that they have a strategic advantage over the November election where she has the power of incumbency and the power of fear of instability? Stay tuned to find out. But this is just my prediction. P.S. Dear God, please let me be wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, here. Okay, well, there you have that from JP. I love the JP channel. I, uh, every time there's a notification, oh, good Lord, I've done this for about 18 minutes. That's even longer than his actual video. Um, but if you, if you agree with what he's saying, or even if you disagree with what he's saying, just go check the video out. I will put the link in the description. And until then, until next time, this is Hebro77 saying so long and I'll see you in the next video. And remember, knowing isn't just half the battle, it's the whole damn war. See you next time.